Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. Today I'm going to answer the question, when do you weld the tight side of a fit up, of a pipe fit up first? When do you weld the tight side first and when do you weld the wide side first? I'm Austin Ross, for those of you who may not know, here on this channel I share tips and tricks for rig welders, pipeliners, and the pipeline lifestyle. If those are videos that you're interested in, make sure and subscribe and ring the bell to get notified when I post a new video every Friday. So before I started pipeline welding, I was working in a shop right out of high school, starting to put my truck together. I was always, my brother is a pipeliner also, he's two years older than me, he went to welding school just like I did, but he, right out of high school, he was, he, had, he didn't work in a shop, he went straight to, he worked on drilling rigs for a few months, um, running somebody else's truck, and then he put together his own truck, and then he's been pipelining ever since. I, well, I say pipeline, and he started out in a couple of refineries, had a couple of refinery jobs for a little bit, and then he started pipelining. So, me and a good friend of mine always wanted to weld out of our truck. You know, we had shop jobs welding, but we wanted to, and we did a little fence on the side with our trucks and running other guys' trucks and stuff, but we always wanted to pipeline weld, or at least weld out of our own truck. So we were all the time curious about how pipeline works, this, that, and the other. And my brother, being two years older than we were, and being in the field for like, you know, we were, I mean, for at least two years before we ever graduated, he was in the field working, working on pipeline. And as he was learning, he would call me every couple of days and he would, he would share all this knowledge, you know, over the phone, like little tricks on how to, when you're up in a scaffolding in a plant, how like not have to adjust your heat because back whenever my brother started welding or in plants or whenever he first got started, I don't think he had a remote. So he had to figure out ways and learn from the older guys he was working with how to not have to adjust your heat so much by using you know a bigger rod or a smaller rod you know and and things like that so he was always just cramming information in my mind as he was learning and over the phone it's hard to it's hard to grasp all that right i was always like man that's interesting that's cool but i don't i couldn't always put two and two together in fact i remember whenever he was telling me when he started pipelining he's telling me what a grasshopper was and I could not for the life of me figure out what what do you mean a grasshopper? Why do you need a grasshopper? Like I couldn't understand and me and my brother are terrible at explaining things, so that didn't help. But he, he, he wasn't explaining, you know, what a grasshopper did and it was to ground to the pipe without arcing the pipe. So it just took me a long time to put two and two together. Pictures weren't a thing, or if they were, we didn't have picture phones. I mean it wasn't I act like I'm sixty years old. Uh, it was in he graduated in 06, so in like roughly 07, 08, you know, 09, that time frame. Yeah, cell, phone, cell phones were out, obviously, by then, but like, so anyway, he just, I don't know, he didn't send me a picture, I just, it was hard for me to comprehend. Well, along with that, I remember him telling me one time over the phone that you want to weld your wide side first, or tack your wide side, or, or weld it so your skinny side, you know, your tight side will open up. And then another time I was talking to him, he said, you want to weld your tight side first? And I was like, wait, what? What do you mean? You just told me I wanted to weld the wide side first. Like, what are you, what are you talking about? And I don't even know if I ever got clarity back then, because like I said, it was always jumbled up and I wasn't, I wasn't welding on pipe every day. So it was hard for me to like comprehend all this. Hence why I put out videos helping others, because I was always craving this knowledge and wanting to know. The best knowledge came from getting out in the field and doing it for myself, and this is when it all clicked. I don't remember the day, but I do remember after welding on pipe, I started out on some fabrication on pipe, and like on smaller fabrication, whenever you're tacking up or on a test on 12 inch and below, when you're tacking it up, if you're, you gotta tack top and bottom, and then if one side's wider, you obviously take a wedge and you drive it in the tight side, and then tack it on you know the other side and then hurry up and tack it straight across from that side so like that's the proper way but if say you're fitting something up and you only need it you're not on a test and you're just on fabrication you need it to draw this way a little bit to make it square then you would tack it on this side just to make it draw a little bit but the only way it's going to draw usually is if there's not a tack already over here so you can take advantage of that and try to tack it on this side to get it to draw over. So I'm gonna say on like 12 inch and below and on smaller fabrication, when you're tacking, sometimes usually it can be, depending on the situation, ideal to tack the wide side to get you some space on your tight side. 
the time whenever you want to weld your tight spots first is on bigger pipe and more specifically on tie-ins so like on tie-ins whenever you're or in the ditch or that's why i said big pipe or anything like or whenever you've already got four tacks four or more tacks in your pipe it's not gonna hardly it can't open up so you got to tack top and bottom then you got to tack on the side so if say this bottom quarter is tight and these other quarters are the same because the cut was off or or the way the pipe's sitting or whatever like for whatever reason this bottom quarter is tight well in this instance you've got four tacks in it and this quarter is tight you want to weld this quarter first if not see some people might think like in your head from fabricating on small pipe or something you might want to weld this wide spot first to try to open this up but with the four tacks in it it's not going to move so you want to weld this tight spot first if you don't weld it first say you've got a little bit of daylight but it's still real tight if you both start at the top or maybe you're not brother-in-law on it but you weld the you start at the top weld this side weld this side by the time you get to this bottom side this is going to be jammed up or it's going to be tighter so therefore you're hurting yourself by welding the wide spots first so that is when you want to weld the tight spot first is on bigger pipe or when you got four tacks in your fit up and most importantly on tie-ins especially on a final tie-in whenever the pipe on either end is in the ditch it's not gonna it's not gonna move you know so like what you got is what you got and you want to weld that tight spot first that is the answer to that question i hope this will help uh, for those of you that might have been confused or haven't even got started yet it's a very helpful piece of advice and i hope it makes sense let me know in the comments if it made sense if it did say yes and if it helped like this video share it with a friend and that is going to be it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed it thank you for watching my advice for this week is learn something every day that's all i got that sums it up learn something every day no matter how long you've been doing it how long you've been welding on a certain size of pipe learn even from the person that you think you can't learn any anything from learn something from them there's something to be learned i promise thank you for watching this video and remember learn something every day we'll see y'all next friday